Hi everybody. This is Dr. Ashik. Today I'm going to find a permanent solution for your pedigree analysis. it's a very simple topic so we can do it in within very simple four steps and less than 10 seconds and i'm guaranteeing you that you'll be getting 99 percentage of the mcqs with it so how it is possible so i'll be telling like any pedi- pedigree chart we should have at least three generations three generations we need to make an ideal or actual diagnosis to make an actual diagnosis we need three generations for example i will be showing you one pedigree chart here so that pedigree chart i am opening here for you it will be having three generations i will be marking it like uh, that is a first generation second generation and third generation so we have to search uh, in any pedigree chart every pedigree chart we have to search to get the affected individuals the affected individuals will be separately marked we have to find out who is affected individual and the rule number 1 to diagnose a pedigree chart is we have to see that every generation is affected or not so if the every generation are affected that character is a dominant character that is a dominant character the rule number 2 is if any generation if any generation is skipped it is not affected that means that is a recessive character so if an everyone is affected that is dominant if it one is not affected it is recessive so rule number 3 rule number 3 is that if both sexes the male and female sexes equally affected that means that is an autosomal that is not x linked that is not x linked that is autosomal and the rule number 4 is if only one sex either male or female predominantly affected either male or female is predominantly affected that means that is a sex linked disorder that means that is a sex linked disorder so there are totally four rules are there you can see that four rules again here so that every generations are affected dominant any generation skipped recessive if both sexes affected that is a autosomal one sex is affected that means sex linked you can see that only one sex is affected that is sex linked so we'll be doing some examples for you here so that is the earlierly i am showing the same thing here so you can see what is happening here so i'll be marking the generations first for you so example number 1 that's a first generation two people are affected one male one female affected first generation and the second generation is also affected you can see and third generation is also affected so every generation is affected here so that means that is a dominant character first point that is a dominant character and both sexes are also equally affected that means that is an autosomal character so your answer will be coming as what will be the answer autosomal dominant autosomal dominant simple steps so the second one second example you can see that here second example so the first generation affected second generation that affected third generation affected but here is very important very interesting thing is every generation is affected really we have to see that thing i'll be telling a no why because see this this parents this parents are not affected but see they are having a kid they are having a kid he is affected so you can see that parental generation is skipped here so there is skipped generation here what that means that is a recessive character so you can see that the males and females are equally affected 
and one generation is skipped so the answer will be coming like what is answer autosomal recessive autosomal recessive okay the next example you can see that here first generation second generation and third generation and all generations are affected all generations are affected we can see no it's no it's no all generations are not affected here so it is a recessive character and you can see the mother is affected and she is scattering that to two of her boys so the mother to boys only see that female is escaped and you can see one of the boys married an affected female and all the siblings in that relationship is affected so you can see a special condition here mother to boys only so that is an indication of an x linked disease so you can get the answer like x linked recessive disorder xlr so we'll be going to the next example here next example is a very simple example you can see we, you can solve it the first generation second generation third generation and we'll be looking like all generations are affected or not that's our question so it's affected affected that generation is also affected and the boy affected parents are not affected see that there is a not affected so answer is no so that means it is a recessive character that means it's a recessive character and both sexes are affected or not we can see we can count that the males females female male female female okay yes it's both affected almost equally so i'm choosing it's and it is auto so we can you know it's autosomal recessive character autosomal recessive character here yeah. that final thing final example final example very very interesting thing you can see first two three four generations are given there and female affected male affected female affected see that one side one side and the other side there is something special there you see so whenever whenever the father the male was affected there the male is not transmitting no transmission to the surroundings but when the mother is affected it is transmitting to that uh, uh, subsequent generations here so this will be coming as a special case that is your mitochondrial transmission that is your mitochondrial transmission so what is the speciality of mitochondrial transmission and why it is occurring i'll be telling like the mitochondria be telling like because the cell organelles including the mitochondria is getting from ovum that is from the mother so mother is only giving that thing and sperm from the father donates only the nucleus so the mitochondrial transmission is occurring mitochondrial transmission is occurring only only mother to the child not father to the child that's a special thing and that uh, moving to the moving to the last uh, topic that is why lingering diseases that is a very rare conditions and the speciality is that the wiling disease are transmitted from father to boys only from father to boys i why because because the girls do not have y chromosome so that is the end of this topic so thank you for watching me and this is a dr ashik here with you